Claire Lopez, you've got to explain something to me. I know you're not a doctor, but you follow this stuff. How is it possible that most of the new COVID cases in the world are in the most heavily vaccinated populations and the worst numbers of infections are in the highest vaxxed populations on earth? Yeah, I, absolutely. supposed to be the opposite. I mean, and no, I am not any kind of a medical specialist. I do not have a science degree, but I do follow this stuff, as you say. And here's the thing. When you introduce a vaccine or genetic therapy, as this one is, in the middle of uh, a pandemic, um, that hypercharges, turbocharges uh, the virus, which wants anthropomorphizing, but wants to live. It's got to escape that measure in order to propagate and find new human hosts. That's one thing. The other thing is something called immune uh, system fatigue. Uh, and when the, the immune system is constantly bombarded, vaccine, booster one, be booster two, booster three, um, at some point, kind of like when you're in the gym and you're, you're lifting some weights, at a certain point, you can't lift anymore. You got to put them down. And uh, the immune system likewise gets ginned up, ginned up, ginned up, and then every few months, again and again, it gets too tired. It, it, it basically breaks down and is no longer effective, not just against this particular virus, but other things too that might assault the body.